Calcium is essential for your bones, but did you know that magnesium helps your body to use the calcium properly? These two minerals actually work like a team. While calcium is the one that we hear about most when it comes to bone strength, magnesium plays a behind the scenes role that's just as important. It helps to activate vitamin D, it regulates calcium transport, and it supports healthy bone structure at the cellular level. But here's where things can get tricky. We have to consider the timing, the dosage, and the balance between the two minerals. If you're not careful, taking calcium and magnesium the wrong way could actually interfere with how well your body absorbs them, or worse, throw your mineral balance out of whack. So today, let's break down what the research says about whether you should take calcium and magnesium together or separately. And most importantly, how to do it right so that you're getting the full bone building benefit of both minerals. Hello, my friends. I'm Sarah and I'm a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'm also a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific for osteoporosis and yoga. And I'm a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of osteoporotic fractures that happen every year. And I am so pleased to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. So let's start today by looking at why you need both calcium and magnesium in the first place. Calcium is the primary mineral that your body uses to build and to maintain bone mass. But calcium doesn't work alone. Without having enough magnesium, your body may have trouble absorbing using the calcium that it has effectively. Magnesium helps to activate vitamin D, which in turn regulates calcium absorption. It helps to transport calcium into our bones rather than letting it deposit into our soft tissues. Magnesium also helps to regulate the parathyroid hormone that affects bone turnover. Low magnesium has been linked to lower bone mineral density, slower bone formation, and increased fracture risk, all of which are things we want to avoid. Magnesium isn't just good for your bones. It's also vital for your heart. Magnesium helps your heart to function smoothly by regulating heartbeat and rhythm, by supporting the electrical impulses that keep the heart pumping, and by helping blood vessels to stay relaxed, supporting healthy blood pressure. Low magnesium levels are associated with having higher risks of high blood pressure, irregular heartbeats, and even sudden cardiac events. So when you're getting enough magnesium, you're not only protecting your bones, you're also supporting your cardiovascular health in a big way. So if calcium and magnesium work together, does that mean that you should take them at the same time? The answer to this question is that it depends. If you're taking a small dose, like what's found in a balanced bone support supplement, picture supplements like Algae Cal here. Then in that situation, it's usually fine to take calcium and magnesium together. There's a general rule of thumb when it comes to supplementing calcium and magnesium, and that is to take about half as much magnesium as you're taking calcium. So for example, if you're taking 500 milligrams of calcium, then you would want to take about 250 milligrams of magnesium. An easy way to remember what form of supplements to take is to keep in mind that citrate helps to improve mineral absorption. So for both calcium and magnesium, it's helpful to take them with a bit of citrate in that particular supplement. Keep an eye out for calcium citrate and magnesium citrate. But something to be aware of is that in higher doses, calcium and magnesium can compete for absorption in the digestive tract. Don't take calcium and magnesium together if you're supplementing more than 500 milligrams of calcium, if you have low magnesium and you need to supplement a higher than average amount of magnesium, or if you're taking your supplements on an empty stomach. So something else to consider is the timing of when you take your supplements. When you take calcium and magnesium can also make a big difference into how well they're absorbed and how they feel in our bodies. 
In general, calcium is best taken with food and ideally in doses that are under 500 milligrams at a time. That's because your body can only absorb a limited amount at once. And 500 milligrams at one time is about the limit of what your body can absorb at one time. Pairing calcium with a meal also helps to boost absorption. Magnesium, on the other hand, doesn't have to be taken with food. And here's something interesting about it. Many people actually prefer to take magnesium at night because it often helps to improve their quality of sleep. Magnesium supports better sleep in a few important ways. It calms your nervous system by activating the body's rest and digest mode. It boosts production of melatonin, which is the hormone that regulates your body's sleep cycle. And it also helps to activate GABA, G-A-B-A, a neurotransmitter that slows down brain activity and helps you to relax. On top of that, magnesium helps to ease muscle tension that can reduce nighttime restlessness and cramping. This is especially helpful for women who have osteoporosis who sometimes also deal with having tight muscles and leg cramps at night. So if you're taking both calcium and magnesium, try this. Try taking calcium with meals. I'm suggesting taking calcium at breakfast and if you need a larger amount, then take some either at lunchtime or the rest at dinner time. Try taking your magnesium in the evening, about an hour or so before you go to bed. Many people find that magnesium glycinate or magnesium citrate can help them to relax and to fall asleep more easily. That simple schedule not only improves absorption, but it may also help you to wind down and to sleep more soundly at night. Separating the timing of when you take each mineral keeps things simple without needing to overthink whether or not the amount of calcium and magnesium that you're taking are actually in balance with each other. While supplements can help, real food should always be your foundation. For calcium rich foods, consider eating dairy products, canned salmon or sardines that have bones in them, leafy greens like kale, cabbages, especially bok choy and broccoli, plant milks that have been fortified with calcium, and finally, soybeans, tofu, and especially tempeh. The calcium in tempeh is more readily absorbable than that in tofu. For magnesium rich foods, consider eating pumpkin seeds, almonds and cashews, lentils and black beans, dark leafy greens, whole grains like brown rice, oats, and then to top it off, there's dark chocolate. Many people don't get enough magnesium from food sources, so it's worth checking your intake, especially if you're focused on bone or heart health or both. Calcium and magnesium work together, not just for your bones, but for your whole body. When you get the balance and the timing right, you're supporting bone density, heart health, muscle function, and more in your body. Let's take a moment to recap. Taking small amounts of calcium and magnesium together is okay, but when you take larger amounts, say over 500 milligrams of calcium, then the minerals compete with each other for absorption, and it's better to separate them out by taking calcium in the morning and magnesium in the evening to support better sleep. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love who can benefit from this information. And on that note, I look forward to talking with you again soon.